Okay, let's go ahead and I think the other uh, person will be coming shortly. So we'll just go ahead and begin. We've, we've already waited a little bit. So let's open in a word of prayer and we'll begin. This is still like an orientation. So our class will begin officially next week. But anyway, I wanna go over some things and really prepare us for next week. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you again for today. We just uh, praise you for the technology. We praise you for this opportunity to be able to study your word, even though there's uh, so much rain outside, even though the weather is bad, it's not affecting our, uh, our uh, meeting. Father God, we want to commit this time to you. We want to exalt your name, the name of your son, as we prepare to, to study the history of your revelation to us. I pray that you would prepare the students' hearts. Uh, grant us perseverance because for sure we'll become tired, we'll, we'll be tempted to quit. And um, I just pray that you would give the, the students perseverance. And also for me as I, I lead and, and, and teach and instruct that you would uh, guide me, guide my words, guide my uh, preparation. And also that I would, uh, I would have a, uh, um, a gentle and also uh, accommodating spirit as well as there's always that temptation to, to push too hard, Father God. So we just pray all these things. We commit this to you. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Tonight is not the class. So we'll begin next week. What I wanted to do, though, was even though we pushed it, we actually pushed the class back one week because I had, my wife had a baby and <laughs> we were so busy. I was so busy with, with, there was some minor complications. The baby's healthy. My wife is healthy. But I asked for a week extension <laughs> for the class. So what I want to do tonight is I want to go through all the different areas, the different platforms we're using to really set you up. And so once, once we're finished with that, once everyone has the syllabus and everyone is, is uh, aware and understanding, uh, you're free to leave. Uh, the, except for those who have not yet registered for EVST. So there's really two students that are attending here. There's those from CGST with the Master of Arts in Theology, and then there's uh, EVST, and that is concerning um, uh, Certificate of Theology and also Master of Arts in Theology non-accredited, okay? So those who have not yet registered or applied, you have to stay with me. <laughs> and Henry, we will get you we will get uh, you registered. So we'll talk through just the platform so that everyone is really aware of where everything is, where um, the places that they can receive information. And um, so let's just get, just, just get into it right now. So the title of the book, is uh, the title of the, of the class is Biblical Theology, The Blossoming of God's Revelation from Adam to Christ. So there is, uh, the words are by design. <laughs> So we will discuss that. That's the big picture that we'll be looking at. And um, uh, so what I want to do is I just want to talk through the different platforms that we will be using this semester and uh, so that everyone is really aware of where we are now. So if you can look, everyone can see, you should be looking at facebook.com. Does everyone see Facebook? It's in dark mode. Can everyone see that? Let me know if you cannot see it. I think everyone can see this. Okay, everyone can see it, right? Correct? Okay, okay. So um, uh, in on Facebook, we have several different pl platforms where we're going to be disseminating information. It's very important that you pay attention. Uh, the first platform is if you go to your message or messenger, you also have the messenger app. So it's actually very easy to access. Um, uh, if you come here, I believe everyone should be a part of this chat. It says uh, CGST Biblical Theology. You have the, the picture there, okay? If, if you don't have access to this chat, uh, you need to send me a private message or pastor, just send me a private message asking to be added to that chat, okay? Um, now, uh, you also need to register. So if you haven't registered yet, that could be why you don't have access to the chat. So you need to register and then you also need to uh, you also need to um, request to have access to this chat. So we will post information here or just quick notifications. So be checking that chat. That's the first area. The second area 
that we will have is uh, we've created a group. So looking over here to my left, maybe it's your right, I'm not sure, but it's the TH615 Biblical Theology group. So I'm clicking on it here. So this is the, the group. I only have nine members so far. So some have not yet are not yet in here. Okay. So I've sent everyone who's registered an invitation. So if you have not yet accepted my invitation, you need to accept it. Or if you have not received my invitation, just send me a message asking to be invited. Uh, this group here, we will be posting the videos, links to the videos, announcements, uh, resources, documents. So this is really this is really important. Now, looking here, there's two there's two ways that you can toggle this. You can toggle this by most recent activity. Okay, here we go. So see this drop down menu here. You can toggle this by new activity. So it's 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 listing the the the, the posts not chronologically, but by actual activity. Okay, so if you want to look for something in the past. You should change this to uh, yeah recent posts. So new activity when the comment when it, when someone makes a comment that will push the post to the top of the page. But if you're looking for strict chronology because you're looking back for something, you should change this toggle to recent posts. That will give you a chronological time frame of when everything was posted. Okay. Uh, if you have a question or you want to discuss something, I really encourage make a post. Do not hesitate to post your question. Do not hesitate to post your comments. And then we can interact. The whole purpose of using this Facebook group is to really interact, to ask questions. Maybe there's a, a, a discussion, a, dis, a, a disagreement. Post and let's, let's comment here, okay? So sometimes if you post, I won't answer right away, um, but, but it's really meant to create, we're in a community discussing biblical theology. And we'll deal with definitions and everything later, but that's just a, an FYI. I am going to be strict. I'll, I'll talk about this next week in the syllabus, but I will be strict. Um, do not post not related items to the class. And I, I was very uh, loose last semester in other, other classes. And, and, and then there were times where it was like, you, we went off a cliff it's like we're just walking down to the side and then woo, we jumped off the cliff and like everyone's and then even we had people that weren't in the class that dropped out of the class and then they're posting so um you know i'm going to be aggressive making a comment if you post it's not because i'm i'm angry or irritated it's just if we if we don't stay on point we will go so far off okay so um uh, some people i think i've never done this but if you People will post an encouraging word to all their to all their messenger or all their people. If you do that, you need a mental note to I need to go to Facebook group, I need to go to Facebook message, and I need to remove that post immediately. So you could post to all your friends, however you would do that, but then you need to have a conscious note. As soon as you post, I'm gonna to go to this group, I'm gonna to go to this message, and I'm going to cancel that. Okay. Now, if someone has multiple infractions, uh there could be point deduction. Again, it's not because I'm upset. It's just we need to stay on point and things really get a field uh, fast, okay? So that's just an FYI. I'm not upset with anyone. Please don't. It's just uh, we just want to stay on point, okay? So I was generous last semester. I will still try to be generous this semester, although there might be a place where I start taking off points, okay? So, um, and it's just to really keep us on the straight and narrow. The other thing I want to sh share with you is that when we post here, if you look up here, you have an about, you have discussion, you have announcements, you have rooms, uh, and then you also have this thing over to the right, files. So if you click on files, when I post a file, uh, right now there's nothing to be posted, but those, okay, I have the syllabus right there. I'll, I'll update the syllabus, but if you see here, there's only one file right now. That, that uh, we will be adding, that's a place where you can get information, okay? Now, I do wanna make you aware, when I post a file or a document and then I update it, let's say I, I make a correction, I will not update here. There'll be another place where I update. So to get it the quickest, you can get it here. But when if I update something or change, like for example here, there's some changes to the syllabus just in some wording, et cetera. Uh, I'll fix it this time, but in the future, you we need to go someplace else to get the most recent uh, document update, okay? So I just, 
want everyone to be aware. You can get the documents here, but the most recent update, and the goal also is that once you finish this semester, you will still have access to the files as we continue to update into the future, because we'll teach this class again, we'll add things, we'll add resources, you'll always have access to that. I want, uh, I want to benefit uh, to you is that as we as we teach the class in the future that you'll always have access to the most recent update. Um, so uh, we'll but we won't do that here. And actually, after this semester, we'll we'll remove this this group. Um, uh, so that's just how we'll do it. Okay. The the next thing I want to go to is the next place that you're going to get information is um, uh, YouTube. Okay. So I'm here. Uh, YouTube interpreting the word. So if you type in interpreting the word, um, this is where we will post all of the edited videos from the class, the classes. Now, some people want to watch the class again. Some people, uh, some people will miss the class. Maybe you have a bad internet connection. Uh, I make every effort to post the video as soon as we, as soon as we have class. Um, so if you miss a class, you can watch the video here. Now, the requirement for, especially for CGST students, is that you must attend the live Zoom session unless you have an extenuating circumstance. You need to get permission from me ahead of time to miss. Now, if you lose internet, you lose power, that's different. But you just, what I'm trying to say is that you can't spend the whole class watching the videos, okay? Last semester, we allowed it with EVST because some people were traveling. And so uh, um, for, for my requirements going to be, unless you have an extenuating circumstance for, for really for everyone, unless you're auditing, I, I want you to attend the Zoom uh, live. And the reason for that, the reason for that is we will have workshops at the end of the lecture or discussion, okay? So it's very important that you attend live if at all possible, okay? So I just, I'm going to make that requirement. I'll remind people of that. So I just wanna give the preface. You, we should always be attending the class live, okay? Even if you're gonna be late, that's fine because we'll, we will have workshops at the end. Maybe not every week. I will try to have a workshop every week so that you can review, you can discuss, you'll be in teams. So it's really important that you attend live. But if you miss it, that's fine. We'll have the videos, okay? So that's kind of the thinking here. Now, looking at, at, the, at the interpreting the word, what I have here is I have playlists, okay? So here I have different playlists for the different classes. So for example, we have the, a playlist for hermeneutics, okay? So I'm just gonna show you what it will look like for biblical theology. So when I go to the, the, the playlist for hermeneutics, all of the sessions are there and in order, okay? So you have session number one, two, three, four, all the way down to the very bottom, okay? So uh, this is very nice. It, the, 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 the sessions will be edited. You can watch them anytime. Uh, you're free if you wanna watch another class, if you wanna watch from other, other classes in the past, you, it's, it's, it's for you, it's, it's to help empower you, okay? So I, my recommendation would be to, 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 to go here and to watch, because we'll also post, the reason why I'm saying that is I'm going to po post a link from this into the Facebook group page, okay? I will post that into the Facebook group page, but when you're looking at which video to watch, which video did I miss, it's just easiest to come to the playlist, okay? The other thing I wanna say is that um, you don't have to do this, and you know I really don't care how many subs subscribers we have, we don't really advertise this, the purpose of this channel is not, is not to really publicize uh, EVST or CGST. The purpose of this channel is to, is to give the students the, the information, the sessions, okay? With that being said, um, uh, if you subscribe, as soon as the video posts, you will see that. The next time you go onto YouTube, you will see that. So it might, it, it'll, it'll, it would be beneficial for you to subscribe because whenever we post a new video, it will come up when you watch YouTube, okay? So it's, it's completely up to you. You know, I don't care how many su subscribers we have, we're not publicizing, but um, you'll get the quick, you'll get that access right away. So sometimes I post it late at night and if you're up late too, you'll see that posting versus 
the next morning or waiting till the next week. Okay. Uh, so any questions or comments? It's this is pretty much self-explanatory. But any questions or comments? The, so you have Facebook message. You have Facebook groups. Uh, you have the YouTube in, interpreting the word. Uh, the the other major platform that we have is the Google Drive. So the Google Drive. Uh, if you look here, the Google Drive has, it will have all of the information, all of the resources that you need. And this is the place where we will always be updating. Uh, we will always be updating and you'll have the most recent uh, information, even if we teach this class in the future, okay? So I would recommend, um, if you look here, I have shared, I've shared this folder with many of you. If you don't have access to this, send me a message, okay? Now it's coming through to you, not from Timothy S at Converge, but, but a new email interpreting the word at gmail.com, okay? So that might be in your spam if you've never received an email from me before. So you need to check your spam for this, but, but this, is, this is really where all of the resources will be here. So I will put later tonight, I will put, uh, an example for the homework assignments, uh, different examples will be here. Okay, so everything, this is really where you're going to have all the information and it's going to be cataloged. It will be in order. Um, so for example, here, if you look, I have um, a TH615 resource. So these are the resources here. Um, so this will lead me now into the resources that you have for the reading. So um, everyone taking this class for credit, whether CT, uh, CT, MAT or MATC, uh, Master of Arts in Theology for credit, uh, you are required to read um, biblical theology, okay? Um, as Henry said, books are coming in the mail. Uh, they would have been here, but COVID has put, put everything, has slowed everything down. But what I, we've done is we've put the PDF here now so that you can start reading, Okay. So look at the syllabus. There's a reading assigned for, for um, next week, okay? So everyone should read that assignment for next week. Uh, the, the CT, you just read it, but you don't have to do a reading reflection report, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do a reading reflection report. The, the MAT and MATC students with CGST, you need to do a reading reflection report. I'll put an example here later tonight. Essentially what it is, is I'm going to ask you, for those who had me as a student last week, uh, last semester, I will ask you what was something that was very interesting that you liked from the chapter, uh, and then something that you disagreed with or you did not understand. And then um, there's a question. So, so something you agree with, I really like, something you did not understand or you disagreed with, and then a question or something that you want to study further, okay? So those are three different those are three different questions that you're going to answer, okay? So in one sense, it's easier than in other ways because I don't have specific questions that you have to answer. And in, in another sense, I want you to be thoughtful, okay? I want you to be thinking through as you read. I want you to be thoughtful in, in, your, in your reading. And I believe each one should be three to four sentences. Each, it should be, question number one would be three to four sentences. Question number two would be three to four sentences. And then the, the question that you have is just one sentence, okay? So I'm looking for essentially uh, nine to 10 sentences in your reading report, double space. The pattern I'll, I'll give you, it, it'll, it'll be there, it'll be, it'll, it'll be uh, easy for you to understand, okay? Um, and those who had me from last semester, um, uh, you know what I'm looking for, okay? Now, now uh, certificate in theology, you only have to read. And then when you fill out the assignment, you're just going to put, I read Voss Biblical Theology chapter one or chapter two. That's it. You don't have the reading report. That, that's the different level between the two, okay? So if you're able to read and you want to do the reading report, then I suggest you change to MAT, okay? Um, now that will take more work. It's going to take more work for you because you have to think, you have to, you have to, you have to study the passage more. It's going to take a lot more work. You're going to to, it's essentially one page per week. So it is more work, all right? Um, some of you are just doing for audit or for certificate of attendance. That is completely fine. 
I am very happy with that. Um, still use these resources, read at your leisure. It's most beneficial if you can read, um, but you, it's not required. A, a certificate of attendance, all you have to do is just, you have to attend all the classes, okay? Um, you don't have to do any of the homework or any of the assignments, okay? Uh, CGST, um, uh, MATC students, you have the whole shebang. So we'll have some other projects and stuff. And so, um, yeah, you, you'll have the, the, the biggest assignment there, but that's, but that's because it's a master of level and it's accredited, okay? Um, any questions or comments? Any questions or comments? Oh, sir, uh, one question, sir. Um, yeah. You mentioned about the, the assignments or the reading reports. So where are we gonna submit all those uh, outputs that we have? Yeah, so great, so great question. So what, what I'm going to require all of us to do is that, um, uh, and these instructions will be in the pattern that I'll put in here later tonight. But what essentially what I'll do, Jesus, for everyone is that uh, you'll, you'll download the pattern, the template here, and then each week you're just going to change the, the, the title, but it's gonna be the same, the same format, okay? You'll change what the assignment is. Um, but uh, what you'll do is you'll email it to me. You're going to email it to me. Um, and, and in that pattern, we'll have my email address. Because what I'll do, Jesus, is I think CGST, you're submitting it in, in Google Classroom, I think. Is that correct? We're just not yes, using sir. that. Yeah, just, just email me a docx file or a, a Google file or a, a, a pages file. Just email it to me. Because what I do is I convert it to PDF and then I mark it up and I send it back to you. And then um, it's it's really nice because my recommendation is you would just keep it in a P, in your PDF folder and I keep it in my PDF folder. So just all you have to do is just email me the docx file or whatever format it is. I'll convert it to PDF. I'll mark it up. I'll give. I'll say this is good. Uh, maybe you should change this or and then I'll give a grade and then I'll send it back to you. And then I have a copy. You have a copy. And it's very nice. So that's what we'll do. Okay. Great question, uh, very good question. Any other questions? Is that making sense for everyone? Is that making sense? So, sir, are you going to require us to make a research paper for for CGST level? No. So this semester, there's no research paper. What there will be is, and, it, and it's in the syllabus, and we're going to discuss that next week. Okay. But what we will have is you'll have number one a reading reflection report from Voss, and then also from from Poitras. So there's a second book. Let me just let me just put the second required reading. This is again for only MAT long. It's not for uh, CT or if you're a certificate of attendance. Um, but this is Theophany. So this is uh, by Vern Poitras. So this is essentially just to, to give you a brief description. Biblical theology by Voss talks about um, methodology, uh, mode, and 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 content. Uh, what Vern Poitras does for us here is he gives the example. So this is an example of what it would look like to trace a theme through scripture and really unpack it and seek to understand. So theophany is uh, the appearing of God, literally God appearance. And it's, it's a Greek word. Theophany is a Greek word. So theos, uh, theos uh, God, uh, phony is like shining, appearing in Greek. So, so this is an example. So a biblical theology of, there it is, a biblical theology of God's appearing. Okay. So, this is a, this, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off and just give it to you like it is. Voss is a very hard book to read. It's hard, uh, but do not let it go. Do not let it, do not yield to it. Voss, there were times where I reread re a chapter. Okay, I'm English speaker. I reread the chapter, very hard, very my hero, okay? But you will find the gold nuggets. You will find the diamonds in Voss. It, 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 it will be so profound the truths in book in Voss. Now sometimes you're gonna disagree. Sometimes you might disagree with him, but it's it's Voss is he really is, he is the father of biblical theology and all these other theologies that you see, Tom Schreiner, uh, um, um, GK Beale, uh, Gaffin, uh, John Murray, all these different uh Ladd, George Ladd, all these other guys that are doing biblical theology, they're all mimicking, they're all taking what Voss taught and they're just going deeper. Voss is really, it's like the source. He's the source. And so Voss, if you were to say to me, Tim, top five, top 10 books 
uh, next to the Bible that you should own, Voss is one of them. Voss is one of the books that you should own. The, the, the content there is so deep, it's so rich. Um, it's a hard read, okay? Uh, Vern Poitras, it's the opposite. Very easy to read. Very easy to read. You would just go by and you're like, oh my goodness, this is so easy, okay? So that's, that's the, the benefit between the two. Voss is hard. Uh, Vern Poitras is much easier to read and much more understandable, but, but the two are related. When you read the two, you'll see how they're related. Um, the other thing I want to say is that the, the books for Voss are coming from UK. They'll arrive in Taklob on when they do. Uh, you don't have to have a copy, okay? If you want a copy, there's, you'll have to pay for shipping. All you have to pay for is shipping, and then there's a processing fee. I think the processing fee, I don't want to give a number yet. It's not a lot. It's like several hundred pesos just to process. That's it. So, um, so uh, uh, if you want that book, you can have it. If not, you can just print out the PDF. Okay, um, uh, the same thing with, with uh, uh, it's a little different. Vern Poitras, there's no physical book. The, the PDF actually, he, he, he offers it free from his website. So if you want the physical copy, just print it off. You, you just pray for printing wherever you want to go to, 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 to print it off. You could even print it off in your own printer if you had, if you had a printer, okay? Um, uh, I just, for me, I just took, the Theophany and added it into my eBooks, and I just read it as an eBook on, 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 on my on my book app. So you can also do that. And if you want to know how to do that, I we can we can do a, a session later. I can show you how to add it to your to your eBooks. So um, just something to think about. Okay, great. Who's who's was that Sunny's question? I, I I lost whose question that was. Um, yes, yes, that's my question. Yeah. Okay. So I'm still going on. So I'm sorry. So you have the reading number one. Number two, you'll have the reading reports. Then there'll be a separate scripture reading with some questions. That will be for everyone to do, um, but it's not a lot. So for example, we'll read Genesis 1 to 3. I'll have like three or four questions, and you just need to, to answer them, or I'll say, I want observations on this topic, and you need to give me however many observations I ask for, okay? Um, so it should be thoughtful, though. So th that's the, the, the two forms of assignments. What we will have then, instead of a research paper, is we are going to trace a theme. So you will be in a group of three or four. You will group together, and through the semester, you are going to trace a theme. It's going to be a lot of work. It's not something you can do on the last night of class. and, and we, You have to be working on it weekly, okay? So, But what I want you to see is I want you to see how a theme comes to its, its full revelation in the New Testament. And many times the only way you're gonna see that is, is by doing the hard work yourself. And actually, originally I was gonna have you pick the theme, but I'm 99% sure I'm going to choose the theme for you. And everyone's gonna do the same theme, but you'll have different places in, in, in the Bible because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work. Okay, so that's the big project. You can work together, but you need to set, submit individually. Okay, and, and I'll give more instructions in the, in, I think in, in week two or three, I give, I give more instructions. Okay, so that's the big project. And then the last will be a final exam on some of the content. Um, it's not going to be hard. The final exam will probably be, uh, the final exam will, 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 not, will, will not be challenging. It'll test over general information, um, general information from, from the semester. Okay, I'll have a worksheet or, or I'll give further guidance as that, as that comes. And that's essentially it, okay? Um, so that maybe some of you are saying, oh, no research paper, that's easy. Well, it depends. You know, Voss is a hard read. It's going to take you time. You, you're probably going to be spending three to four hours per week reading, and in some cases, more than that. So what I would recommend everyone to do is, like, this week, it's only one chapter in Voss, and I think the chapter is like 10 pages. You're like, oh, it's so easy. I would read ahead in Vern Poitras. I would read other. I would read. I would read elsewhere. Okay. So even though um, my my reading is specific for the the lecture, but if it's not a lot of pages, I would really suggest that you read. You go ahead in your reading. Okay. I would also suggest that you highlight and, and you you take notes. So maybe it's beneficial that you print out the book. Um, but but that's what I do. Where's my book? So I have I have. I have my 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 book here. I have I have stuff highlighted, and, and I I've read through it one time. I'm going back through it a, a second and third time. Um, 
Yeah, so I would I would just I would have I would buy a highlighter and I would buy a pen and just start <laughs> and mark it up. It, that's really this is this will be a reference book as well. So it's going to be a reading and but also a reference book for you. Okay, great. So um, uh, excellent. So let me just come back down here. So uh, so we have other we have the CGST student handbook. So especially for those who are new from EVST that are now officially registered with CGST, read the student handbook. You have the, the research guide here, the CGST research guide. You can look at that as well. Um, and then I actually have several other resources that are not required, but I highly recommend. So um, this resource here, the shadow of Christ in the law of Moses, uh, that's just an optional for you to have. Highly recommend that. I highly recommend that book. Um, Jesus is teaching concerning the kingdom. That's another book from Voss. It will not be required, but I recommend it. Okay. So I really recommend, I will slowly add more resources that, that, that are, are important for biblical theology. If I have access to them, I will share them here. So for example, Shadow of Christ and the Law of Moses, that's free. It's on the website. Uh, the, the teaching of Jesus concerning the kingdom of heaven is, uh, it's free. <laughs> It's, uh, uh, I think it's um, uh, general domain, uh, so it's no longer copyrighted, okay? So we will slowly add to these, and um, there was another book that, uh, The Dwelling Place of God, so we'll talk about that next week in the syllabus. Again, that will be an optional read. I'll offer it for extra credit for those who want to do extra credit, but it will not be required. That's also an excellent complementary book. A lot of what G.K. Beale brings up in, in, in The Dwelling Place of God, Voss, Voss is the one, he is the originator, and then G.K. Beale is just adding, he's adding information to it, okay? So uh, just by way of review, so you're going to have information being shared on Facebook message, Facebook groups, check the Interpreting the Word uh, YouTube channel, and then this Google Drive, and then lastly, what I will be doing is, is when I send out an assignment or I send something out, I will also send an email blast. Everyone who registered, did you receive my email from, from yesterday? Did anyone not receive that email? Maybe Dexter. Dexter, I don't know if you received the email. Uh, I think you're the only one. Everyone else should have received that email. So I'm not yeah. seeing people. Yeah, not yet. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll get, we'll get you that email as well. Okay. So, um, that, okay, yeah, so the other thing I want to share with you is, uh, and we'll discuss this more, but for your project, you will be using Step Bible to help you look for these terms, uh, look for these themes, the, the theme, okay? So, uh, we, I have uh, a session where we discuss it. There's other, there's other examples on YouTube. Next week, I will give more information for Step Bible, but I really want to emphasize Step Bible is going to be your primary resource. Now, if you have your own paid uh, bi uh, Bible software, that's fine. You can use that. But if you do not, I don't want you using like eSword or Bible Hub. You need to be using Step Bible because Step Bible search is the most powerful. It's very powerful. Um, there is a, uh, a workshop that we did on searches in hermeneutics. So for those who didn't have hermeneutics last semester, on how you search uh, Step Bible. Um, maybe I'll post that. I'll post some of the, the videos on the Facebook group so you can watch those. But uh, Step Bible just needs to be one of your go-to sources for, for sermon prep, for Bible study. It's very powerful in the original languages and also uh, for, for, for searching. Um, I think that's everything. That's all we have for this week. So I wanted to, to talk through these things so that everyone really understands what we're doing. Your assignment for next week, I believe. Let me just, let me bring up. Um, oh, uh, does everyone, let me, let me stop sharing here. Um, did everyone in the chat, I just, I shared in the chat the, the newest syllabus. Does everyone have this syllabus here? Everyone has this? So this is the syllabus that we have. We will go over this next week, okay? We will go over this next week, but let me just let me just go down to here for the assignment for next week. Um, so this is here, week number zero. That's us. That's us. Okay. So we just have 
we just have this course orientation. Okay, so next week, Voss chapter one is due. Okay, so for those in the MAT, CT, or sorry, those in the, the CGST, you need to read chapter one and support, support uh, submit your first reading report. We will discuss it and we'll also lecture on chapter one. Uh, MAT not accredited, also you need to do the reading report and read. CT, just read long. All you need to do is read. And then when you submit your assignment, just say, I, I read chapter one completely, something like that. Just acknowledge, acknowledging that you read it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. So that's due for next week. All right. So you have the PDF. So if you want one option, Henry said you could print it out. If you want to get the physical book that's coming from UK, um, you can just print out each chapter as it comes and you can, and you can read it or you can use your, your, your PDF, however you want, you want to do that, okay? Um, but that's the only thing that's due next week. All right, so it's 6.52. So those, if you, if, uh, those of you who um, are CGST, you're already enrolled, you're all ready to go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Something. This SSR, SRR, Scripture Reading Report, yeah. is this coming from Theophany? No, so the scripture reading report is going to be, that is just a specific passage of scripture that I'm going to give. And then I will have maybe two or three questions and you'll have to answer those. Yeah. So for example, um, the first one is going to be Genesis one to three. So those of you who had the Bible's big story, you've already done something like that. It'll be a little bit more challenging than that, but it's the same type of thing. So yeah, so it's going to be Essentially, if you can imagine the, the thinking behind this, you have your textbook reading in a scholarly textbook reading. Then you have, because we're always looking at the scripture, we have a scripture study. Um, and then we have the lecture. So that, that's kind of the thinking there. And then the group project is really applying what you're learning. So the group project is, so, so you're getting the whole, you're getting the scripture because scripture is our textbook. You're getting a scholarly work from, from, from a scholar, and then you're putting what you're learning into practice in the group project, okay? And then the final exam is just reminding us um, of what the, the, the things that we've learned, okay? So I, I hope that's helpful. I hope that that's making sense. All right. One important question, uh, yes, Pastor. Go ahead. Yes, Um uh, Is the link for the Zoom, is will be changing from time to time, or is a constant uh, link, or it, the same it, throughout? It should be the same. It should be the same throughout. Uh, it should okay. not change. Yeah, it should not change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so every Sunday um, from seven to nine thirty, that will be my office hour. Okay. Does that work for everyone? Even if maybe not seven, eight thirty, meaning to say, if you have a special question, if you need help, you can come to my office at that time and we can discuss or I can help you. Okay. So, um, if that does not work for you, we could set up a, a special Zoom meeting by appointment. So you could reach out to me and say, hey, pastor, can we meet and talk? Can we discuss? You know, so that, that's possible. But really, ideally, I want this time to be set aside in your schedule. Because what I also want to do um, is that when you're in groups, that can be a time when your group, you, you, we can, you can come to the Zoom and I'll put you in a breakout session so that you can work together as a group, okay? So ideally, that would be the best time if all of us block that apart. If you can just put in there uh, the, when you work as a group together. So you can discuss the reading, you can, you can work on the project, you can discuss the assignment, but it's almost like a study hall. It's a, because we used to do that when we about in CGST, you go to the library and work together, right? We don't have that anymore. So we have this, we have this time. So you can go. Um, maybe you can't throw the paper balls at the, the airplanes, but at least, <laughs> at least we can meet. So just if possible, set that aside. For the most part, that has worked for all of us. If for some reason you have a church or you, you really can't meet, let me know. Maybe we can figure another time, but it seems to me that it works best for everyone. I think it works. Is, is anyone this will not work for? Is this, does anyone does this not work for? Okay, so that's the time. That's the time. Okay, that's the time. All right. So at at this point, I dismiss you. Everyone who's already registered, you can leave. Um, those who have not yet registered need to stay so that we can talk through it. I don't want to take this too long. You can probably do this on your own time. 
I just want to talk through the different forms and I want you to be to make the best decision, uh, the best decision for you. So the first thing, there are four forms that were sent out. Application of admission, application of enrollment, code of ethics, and statement of faith agreement, okay? Uh, for three of them, application of admission, code of ethics, pledge, and statement of faith agreement, you only have to fill them out one time as long as you're a student in EVST, okay? So it's going to take some time, but just one, once you fill it out, I will, you will be sent an acceptance letter. letter. I mean, we have to, you, you have to be accepted, but, but for the most part, uh, you will be accepted. Um, and then you don't have to worry about those again. The enrollment you will fill out each semester, okay? The enrollment you'll finish out each semester. Actually, we'll have three enrollments per year. First semester, second semester, and then third semester, which is like the summer because we'll teach one class in the summer. Not, not always, but, but sometimes, okay? So let's just go to the first application, okay? Okay, so yes. um, if you filled this out last semester, don't worry about it, okay? You're already done. If you have not filled this out, I need you to refill this out, okay? I need you to fill this out. You also need to submit a two by two picture with a white background. Don't attach it in here. Just send it to me alongside with this form and then I will just save it. We will use it for, for different files. We'll also put that in there. I'll, I'll add it. So don't worry about trying. Sometimes it's hard. I'll, I'll just take care of that. Um, looking down here, you're going to pick which program that you want to, you want to take here. So you're just going to put one X. You're just going to put one X here. So just one X, just choose one of these. Okay. So, um, um, don't worry about, uh, just pick one, okay? Now I'd recommend for everyone here, I would recommend either certificate of attendance, certificate of theology or masters of, of, of theology, non-chat accredited, okay? Um, so those are the really the three options for this class. I would not do the certificate of ministry. That's for the lower level where we'll be teaching in Toglish. And, um, yeah, so I really want to encourage you to take one of these three, okay? And you can also just audit. You can just take for audit as well, okay? And then just fill out this information to the best of your ability. If you don't have all the information, that's fine. If it's hard for you to get it, but, but, but I want you to, to if, if you know the information, please fill it out. And the purpose for that is that later we can add this into a file and we can track the history of our students we can track where they're coming from, the schools, their backgrounds, their type of profession. It's, it's very beneficial for us as an institution that's growing to, to look at where our students are coming from. So for example, if most of our students are professionals, we want to focus more on them. If, if it turns out that most of our students turn out to be grassroots, we need to make an adjustment in the program. Okay, so it's, it is important for us to see the demographic of where our students are coming from. Okay, so, so fill this out to the best of your ability. Um, if it's a blank, you don't have the information, that's fine, okay? But everyone needs to fill this out, all right? Um, so that's, that's the first one. The, the second one is the code of ethics. Can everyone see that here, the code of ethics? So just read through this, and then at the bottom, just sign, just type out your name. If you have a pencil or you want to sign with your finger if you have an ipad or or a phone you can do that as well so you can sign it with your signature or just type out whichever you prefer okay i i do want us to try to keep i do want us to try to keep this as much as possible and and the one thing that we don't often do is um seek help if i'm being overwhelmed or overpowered okay i, I want you to consciously think about that and to pledge that you will seek help, okay, from someone, maybe your pastor, maybe someone in EBST, because we don't want this school to be a stress to you, all right? Now, there is a, there is a place where sometimes we need to, to strive, fair enough, but we, 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 we do want, uh, we're not too prideful to ask for help, okay? So I really want, you're stressed, I want you to, to, to seek help. The other thing I want us to consider, <clears throat> I don't know if I have it here, but I want you to pray about and think about it, is that 
Um, in some way, we need to be managing our social media usage. So like I'm working with my wife where we take breaks from social media. Social media can be addictive, okay? So I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone here to sign off on anything here, but I want you to be thinking about our social media involvement. Because if you think about it, when I, I like one day I actually tracked the time I was on social, it was too much, it was too much. And so uh, I want us to be thinking about as we study the word of God, as we're in EBST, one of the problems why we might be under this uh, overwhelmed and overpowered is because we're too involved in social media. So something to think about. The other thing I want us to think about is that um, uh, think about having an accountability partner, uh, accountability partner, or, or putting some type of protection for the internet on your phone, on your devices, on your computer. Okay, so ideally to have both is great, but either have internet protection or to have someone you're accountable to. You know, don't ask me. I'm not, you cannot be accountable with me. We don't have a, 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 I'm your teacher, okay? So find someone that you trust, someone that is, that is, that you really trust, someone that you're close to. It should be an equal. So for example, um, I would say that Sonny should not be a partner with Henry just because um, uh, you should be really someone you're comfortable with that there's no stress. So like, for example, Henry could be with Danny, okay? So think about that. Um, and again, it's something that you, person you really trust. And the reason I say this is that the internet is so powerful, but it is also so dangerous. And, I, and later I do wanna have a workshop where we talk through dangers of the internet, how to protect your family from the internet. So, you know, some people just don't talk about it, but you know, if anyone said, told me I don't struggle with that, I'll be like, you're lying to me. I don't believe it. Everyone struggles with the internet. There's so much out there. There's stuff being posted on Facebook that's so inappropriate. There's stuff on YouTube, it just comes up. It's so anyone who says that they're not struggling, you know, I would say you're lying to me. Everyone, everyone has that temptation. And so um, again, I'm not requiring it, but I just, as, as, uh, as an institution, as a brother in Christ, I really encourage each one, just, just confidential, find someone that you can partner with and, and share your struggles and, and work together to, to really overcome this battle of the internet. Um, uh, it's real. Um, for me, I have an accountability partner, although I haven't been really talking with him recently, but, and I also have, I also have uh, safeguards on, on all my devices. So, um, um, because no one is, no one is above temptation. I'm sorry. It just, no one is anyone who says I'm above temptation. You're lying. And it's not true. Okay. So no one is, no one is holier than, than no one is above temptation. David, the great, the man after God's own heart fell. So all of us need to be on guard and all of us need to have some form of plan. So I'm not going to tell you what your plan is. I'm just going to say that part of the code of ethics is that I want you to be thinking about, you know, identifying the internet as a dangerous place for you and your family. It's also a great place. So I'm not saying to get rid of the internet, that's not a solution, but to have something in place that, that helps, that, 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 that helps you. Okay. That's all I'll say about, I'll, I'll say about that. The next form we have here is the statement of faith. And so here, just read through it. You can read the passages. It's, it's, it, this is uh, from, this is BB Warfield's statement of faith. So it's really good. It's really good. Okay. So you can read through it. Uh, but you don't have to go to all the passages. If you want to, you can, but just, I mean, it's very, it's good. It's not, it's not, you know, if this is ES, EVST's perspective. So um, just, just initial each part here. Um, uh, this is actually Henry's thing. Like I want them to sign each part and I like it. So just initial each part that you agree and then sign at the bottom. Okay. And this just um, maybe something you like, ah, I don't know if I agree with that. Fair enough. But at least when you're at EVST, Let's respect and submit to this. And, and then when you leave EVST, you can make a change if, you, if, if there's something that you, you prefer to be different. But I don't think really, uh, there hasn't been something where I would say, ah, you know, people would disagree with that. It's really, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty conservative and, and straightforward. Okay, so just fill that out. Again, send it to Henry, send it to myself, and then we'll keep that on file as part of your application. The last part where we're going to spend time on now is this application for enrollment. So this is the one that you're going to be filling out all the time. Okay. So here you're just going to choose, 
this will be all that we're looking for in the future. So last, first, middle name, email, phone number, and Facebook account, okay? Uh, coming down to the current program, just choose one program that you want to be enrolled in, okay? So, so Henry, you've been talking with some of the students. Um, you go ahead if you want to say something. I'll just fill in if there's something I want to say. Um, but just each student should just pick one, just one, just put one X in one of these areas, okay? Um, anyone have a question? Yeah, go ahead, Henry. Okay, okay. Since uh, all of us, uh, this, uh, this concerns to all of us here, the student, since we are taking biblical, the, uh, we are taking biblical theology, uh, the courses offered, okay, for courses offered, we are taking it's either BT501 or BT101. It's the two of them, okay? Two of, two of them, okay? Uh, this, this BT501, this is, uh, uh, or for CGST, this is uh, TS615. This is Master of Arts in Theology, okay? My suggestion is the lowest the, the list you're going to put X, BT501 or BT101, it's these two, okay? It's these two, BT, if, if, if it will be, be if, if it will be BT101, go for credit. Yeah. Do not go for audit. If it is BT501, the least you can go is audit. But I would suggest you go for credit. Okay, the difficulty is when we are in a group, okay, when we are in a group, in, in, in the, the chances that, okay, because we will be put in a group. So every, the, 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 our, our level of learning has more or less the same. More or less the same. So that also for Tim Spear, he will not have, have a difficult uh, time in giving his in uh, teaching because of different level, so it's more the same level. I don't know. Yeah. And also for as we go for the uh, the uh, certificate uh, certificate in ministry or certificate in theology or master of arts in theology, non said I suggest go for master of arts in theology, non said Anyway, it, anyway, the tuition fee is 500. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. So go for that. Anyway, we will be in a group. So it will be easy. And also, uh, the office hour, the office hour, it's very, uh, it's uh, also a, a grace given time for us. We can ask, we can ask Pastor Tim for the answer. Yeah. Okay. I will give the guidance. I will give the guidance. I will give the guidance. Yeah. Oh, guidance. I thought you will give the answer. Then we ask. Okay. Go ahead, Tim. You go ahead, Tim. No, no. I, I, I agree with, with Pastor Henry. And so I, I would really say this is the thing, Talagat. You know, we went back and forth. Really, CM, you cannot mix CM with CT. You cannot mix the two because CM is really a, it's, it's a grassroots, it's very basic. Um, so it's really impossible from a, from a, a grading perspective, from a academic perspective, you, 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 if you see the level, it's 001, 002, they're two different levels. So it, it's like, if I was at the master's, I could not take a bachelor's class and get credit at the master's level because it's just two, it's two different levels. And so last semester we tried to mix and my perspective is just like, it didn't really work because there was different levels with the students. If we were too easy, the, the other students did not learn. If we were too hard. So what I'm trying to say is that the CT and the MAT, the level is pretty much the same as far as the English, as far as the, the, the level of learning. The difference between CT and MAT is really the assignments. That's the difference, okay? So I agree with Henry, you know, I would just take one class. Now you can attend the CM classes just for audit long. Just take it as an audit. You can receive that information. It will be helpful. But later we will offer these classes 
at the CT and the MAT level. So later you will have a leader, we will have a leadership class at the CT and the MAT level. Uh, we will have a biblical theological introduction to the Old Testament at the CT uh, MAT level. It just, it will be, it will be, it will be a, it will be the true, it'll be, it, it'll be, a, it'll be different than, than the, the, the CM level. Okay, so um, I, yeah, I agree with Henry that you should do the CT or the MAT for credit because then you can all work together and just take one class and really just focus, just really focus. You don't have to be stressed about the other classes. You can do it for audit. Maybe you can watch it later. Maybe you can watch YouTube because we're gonna to try to have it on YouTube. Um, and, and, and that's it. And I think that if you can commit Sunday night, Monday night, and then one other evening or morning you could do the CT level. So if you can commit maybe Sunday night, Monday night, and then one other evening or morning, you could do it. You could do it, okay? So just be thinking about that. Um, so when you fill this out, you're going to do an X here, an X here, and then an A or a C here, okay? And, and, and um, yeah, I really think that if you really focus on this one class, it will really be a good benefit to you. Now, if, if, you're, if you're really stressed and you feel like you can't commit, please don't, I don't want to pressure you. Just do, just do audit or do certificate of attendance. If you do a certificate of attendance, what we'll do is audit, really you get nothing. Audit, audit is, a, a, is, a, is a category because people would come from outside, a outside of school and they want to take, they want to get the information from a class but they don't want any requirements. So an audit pretty much only means that you're, you're able to enter the classroom. That's, that's the, the standard nomenclature for audit, okay? So when, when there's no credit, there's nothing, we can't even give a certificate for audit because there's nothing required. If you were to do like, a, like the certificate of attendance with biblical theology, we could at least once you do a certain amount of classes, we can give you a certificate of attendance in each class, or we can give you a certificate of attendance for a group of classes, okay? Because the certificate of attendance, you will be required to watch or attend all of the sessions. So if you do not attend or watch all of the sessions, you cannot get even the certificate of attendance, okay? So um, yeah, I would say that the only time you should use audit is if you are at the CT and you really want to attend these two lower levels. Yeah, do an audit and attend. And it'll be good information. It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be good for you. Okay. But you can't take it for credit. That's why you have the CT and the CM. You can't take it for credit because it's two different levels. There's just no way to, to, to get, to give you that same level. It just doesn't work. So I hope that makes sense. Anyone else want to add or any other comments or thoughts? Okay. Yeah. So Dexter, double check. If not, just message Henry. He can, he can give them to you. And let's just make a goal. I, I, I would like you to fill out and submit these four forms by Wednesday. Okay. Everyone should get them back to us on Wednesday. Um, now, some of you just wanted to audit and that's still fine. If you feel uncomfortable and you want to audit, please, that is completely fine. Do not be stressed. Okay. If you audit, you can still join a class. You can still join a team. Uh, still uh, uh, to work together. That's totally fine. Um, I just think if you're going to join a team and you're doing all just, just make it, <laughs> make it the rest of the way. But I understand sometimes a project comes up. I really understand. I really understand your situation. So just you pray about it. You talk to your wife, talk to Henry, whatever you choose, we support whatever we ch you choose. I support. There's no pressure. Okay. Tell I got you do what you're comfortable with. I would rather you do audit and finish and 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 it's okay than to do credit and then patai and then or you quit. I, I would rather you do audit than credit and not do a good job. Okay, so um, you know, but of course, if you ask me, I'm always going to say, you know, let's try. <laughs> so, but that's really uh, that's really up to you. Okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and close in prayer. We're done early tonight. This is really just an orientation. So you have the time to fill out the applications and send, me, send it in to me. Um, and just try to get the picture as soon as you can to me as well. And uh, once you send those in, we will get you a letter back that acknowledges that you're officially a part of 
EBST. I do also want to say some of you submitted assignments. I am behind on the grading because of our baby, but eventually we will get caught up with grading for um, the Bible's big story for um, Christianity 101 and also hermeneutics. So I will get those grades back to eventually sometime. And so uh, some of you, I think, will have maybe three classes. So that's a big, that's, that's big, that's big. So um, uh, you should be very happy. You should be very excited. So um, let's go ahead and close in prayer. And so Pastor Henry, can you close us in prayer and just um, ask for the Lord's blessing and favor to be upon us this semester and that we would just uh, learn to know and to enjoy God forever. Yeah. Know and enjoy him. Okay, good. Uh, Father God, we thank you that you have allowed us to, uh, to continue learning from you and enjoying your presence with uh, this class in, uh, with our classmate. Father, indeed, uh, to know you is a little bit difficult for us, but we know by your grace, you have shown us yourself through your son, Jesus Christ. And this is just a continue of our, uh, uh, our journey here on earth to know you more. Father, we pray for your continued blessings upon us as we uh, learn from this class, BT501 uh, and even BT101, whichever. Father, your blessings that we, the, 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 the encouragement, the struggle will just turn out into joy because you are there, including the help of our classmate to encourage us to move on. Father, in, may you uh, put, uh, strengthen our body, especially our mental, uh, mental uh, that, that, that we can grasp the readings we had, the assignment we had, and also um, in to, to put focus on our mind to you and on the second thing on our work. Father, uh, this is the purpose of our life, to know you more so that we can enjoy your presence even here on earth in times of persecutions and sufferings and trials. We just, uh, we don't, uh, we just focus on you. Father, in bless us tonight as you dismiss us. And may those uh, reading materials just come in uh, through in electronic file or in PDF or even in hardbound that they will be available. It will be available for the student here, uh, and then they can start preparing and reading their assignments. And for this, Lord, uh, uh, we just thank you and we honor you. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray all these things. Amen. 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 God bless you all.